This is a programming and maintenance guide for the HT2 thermostat from Heatwell. Let's begin by running through what each symbol on the screen means. This is the current time. This is the current indoor temperature. These are the days of the week, with Monday being 1 and Sunday being 7. These will be used when programming your preferred heating schedule. These are program numbers. Each number can be programmed to have a different heating time and heating temperature during the week. The A, F or A and F symbols display whether the unit is monitoring the air temperature, the floor temperature or the air and floor temperatures together. This is the lock symbol. When this is displayed, the unit is locked and cannot be accessed. This clock symbolizes automatic mode. When the clock is displayed, the thermostat is operating automatically according to its normal programmed schedule. This hand symbolizes that the thermostat is operating in manual mode instead of using its regular automatic schedule. This is the heating symbol. When this is displayed, the floor elements are currently active. These up and down arrows are used to choose selections and temperatures. This is the OK button used to confirm your selection. This is the temperature and program settings button used to change the individual temperature program settings. This is the mode or menu button used to switch between automatic and manual mode as well as to access the advanced menu. And this is the power button which switches the unit on or off. Let's move on to basic programming starting by setting the time and day. To set the current time and day, press the OK button. The clock will begin to flash. Use the up and down arrows to choose your current time. When you have it, press OK. Immediately afterwards, the day of the week will start to flash. Use the up and down arrows to choose your current day. Then again, press OK. The time and day are now set. We'll explain how to change between 12 and 24 hour format later in the video. Selecting between manual and automatic mode. You can choose between your automated heating schedule and manual mode by pressing the mode button. Select the clock symbol for automatic mode and the hand symbol for manual mode. In manual mode, you can select a new temperature using the up or down arrows and then pressing OK. The unit will now hold that temperature permanently. In automatic mode, you can also choose a different temperature than what's scheduled by again using the up or down arrows followed by OK. However, in automatic mode, your new temperature will only be maintained until the next scheduled on-off time arrives. The word temporary will also be displayed. Press OK at any time to end this temporary heating selection. Creating your underfloor heating schedule. The thermostat has two schedule options, 5 plus 2 day mode, which is the default setting, or 7 day mode. On 5 plus 2 day mode, you can choose heating temperatures and times for the 5 weekdays and different temperatures and times for the weekend. 7 day mode on the other hand applies the same switch on times and temperatures every day. Let's begin by programming the heating schedule for 5 plus 2 day mode. Start by pressing the program button. P1 will be displayed. P1 is your first activation time for your underfloor heating. In this case, we'll have the floor heating turn on at 6.30 every weekday morning by using the up and down arrows. When you have your time selected, press the program button. Now we'll select the chosen floor temperature for that time. In this case, 23 degrees. Once you've chosen your preferred temperature, press the program button again. Your first weekday activation time and temperature has been set. Now P2 will be displayed. P2 is your weekday switch off or resting temperature and time for when you've left home to go to work. In this case, we'll select 9 a.m. Then press the program button and then select the resting floor temperature, in this case 15 degrees. 
Once you've chosen your preferred temperature, press the program button. The P2 resting floor temperature has been set. P3 will now be displayed. This is your switch on time and temperature for when you arrive home in the evening. Just like P1 and P2, for P3 we'll choose our preferred activation time, in this case 4pm. Then press the program button. Now we'll select our evening floor temperature, being 23 degrees. Press the program button to lock it in, and P4 will be displayed. P4 is your weekday overnight floor temperature and time. Like before, use the up or down arrows to choose your ideal time for your heated floors to cool down. In this case, we'll select 10 p.m. Then press the program button. Then select your overnight floor temperature for during the week. We'll select 20 degrees. To finish these Monday to Friday temperature settings, press the program button once more. Now Saturday and Sunday will be displayed as will P1 again. Programming the first weekend activation times and temperatures is exactly as it was before. In this case, we'll select 7.30 a.m., then press the program button. Now we can select the times and temperatures for P2, P3 and P4 just as we did for the weekdays. If you'd rather have your floors constantly warm from morning until night during the weekends, you can skip the P2 and P3 settings. To do this, during the P2 and P3 programming stage, simply press the OK button. The P2 and P3 options will then be blanked out. 7-day mode is programmed in the exact same way, with Saturday and Sunday appearing along with the weekdays. This is because 7-day mode uses the same temperatures and switch-on times all day, every day. 7-day mode is not active by default, but can be activated in the advanced settings shown shortly in the video. Locking the keypad. To lock the keypad, press and hold the power button for 3 seconds. The key symbol will appear which means the thermostat is locked and unable to be changed. To unlock the unit, press the power button again for 3 seconds. Let's move on to advanced settings, starting with switching between temperature sensors. With the thermostat off, access the advanced settings menu by pressing the mode or menu button. Menu number 1 will be displayed, along with the chosen thermometer setting, which you can change by using the up and down arrows. A means the unit will use its air temperature sensor. F means the unit will use the floor temperature sensor. AF means the unit will use both the air and floor temperature sensors together. In this instance, we'll select F for floor. When you've made your selection, press the OK button to save and exit. Adjusting the menu auto exit time. With the unit off, access the advanced menu by pressing the menu or mode button repeatedly until menu number 5 appears. This option allows you to extend or reduce the menu auto exit time in seconds. 20 seconds is the default auto exit time, but you can extend it up to 30 seconds maximum. When you've made your selection, press the OK button to save and exit. Changing the backlight timer. To adjust for how long the display remains backlit, with the unit off, press menu or mode until you reach menu number 8. Use the up or down arrows to select between 0 to 60 seconds or on to have the backlight remain on permanently. In this case, we'll select 50 seconds. Press the OK button to save and exit. Switching between 12 and 24 hour clock format. To change between 12 and 24 hour clock format, with the unit off, press the menu or mode button until you reach menu number 9. 24 hour format is the default, which can be changed by using the up or down arrows. In this case, we'll select 12 hour time. Press the OK button to save and exit. Switching between 5 plus 2 or 7 day programming mode. To choose between the 5 plus 2 or 7 day programming mode, with the unit off, 
press the menu or mode button until menu number 11 is shown. Option 1 is the 5 plus 2 day program. Option 2 is the 7 day program. In this case, we'll select the 7 day option. Then press the OK button to save and exit. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 0508 Heatwell or check out our website heatwell.co.nz.